given that all must die, it is better to die with distinction than to live long. If we seek social status, we give other people power over us. We have to do things calculated to make them admire us, and we have to refrain from doing things that will trigger their disfavour. The wise man will live as long as he ought, not as long as he can. Humility is a knowledge of our weaknesses, confidence is a knowledge of our strengths, and ego is something dangerous, with none of the former and a skewed sense of the latter. You may leave this life at any moment. Have this possibility in your mind, in all that you do, or say, or think. One's best success comes after their greatest disappointments. Do not be distracted by the darkness of others, to head towards the light. To be good without hesitation, even when other people are not. That's our job. All cruelty springs from weakness. No evil is honourable, but death is honourable, therefore death is not evil. Being angry means your lizard brain took control. Being calm means you stayed above your emotions. Stop drifting. Sprint to the finish. Write off your hopes, and if your well-being matters to you, be your own saviour while you can. In the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. A ship ought not to be held by one anchor, nor life by a single hope. A setback has often cleared the way for greater prosperity. Many things have fallen, only to rise to more exalted heights. It is our own opinions that disturb us. Take away these opinions then, and resolve to dismiss your judgment about an act, as if it were something grievous, and your anger is gone. On the other side of a storm is the strength that comes from having navigated through it. Raise your sail and begin. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. The best answer to anger is silence. For we are naturally disposed to admire, more than anything else, the man who shows fortitude in adversity. To be like the rock that waves keep crashing over, it stands unmoved, and the raging of the sea falls still around it. Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for a kindness. There is no education like adversity. Zoom out. In the grand scheme of things, is this really going to affect you? We can't even remember what we were doing five days ago, let alone five years. What matters is how you feel now. If it makes you upset, let it go. If it feels good, let it consume you.
Whatever seems lofty is dangerous. Those whom an unfavorable fortune has placed in a critical position will be safer if they eliminate pride from their proud circumstances and bring down their fortune as much as possible to a lowly state. The foolishness of people who are surprised by anything that happens, like travellers amazed at foreign customs. Ignoring someone is more powerful than hating them. Hate means that you are somehow bothered by the person and can't stop thinking about them. They possess you. Indifference indicates that you just don't care. It is freedom. Fire is the test of gold, adversity of strong men. Death is not evil. What is it then? The one law mankind has that is free of all discrimination. Emotions are easily hijacked by illusory threats that tap into our insecurities. We can't be strategically dynamic if we are always on the defensive. We are more effective when we realize how many things don't require any response at all. No man is more unhappy than he who never faces adversity, for he is not permitted to prove himself. People think that if they complain about life, life or the world might change. But of course this does not happen. You cannot change nature and its laws. It is what it is. No amount of complaining, resentment or mourning will help. Accept, let go and move on. It takes a whole life to learn how to live. And, what will perhaps make you wonder more, it takes a whole of life to learn how to die. At any given moment, you can choose to follow the chains of thought emotions and sensations that reinforce a perception of yourself as vulnerable and limited, or to remember that your true nature is pure, unconditioned and incapable of being harmed. I've learnt that people will forget what you said people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. <laughs>